Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, I am going to be talking about my Sephora recommendations for the upcoming VIB sale. Is it just me or has this sale creeped up on us really quickly? I was expecting it kind of mid-November like last year, but then bam, it is this week already. I will have all the information on the sale and the codes that you need and the dates in the description box. So definitely open that up so you get all of the information. And without further ado, let's get on to my recommendations for this fall's sale. First of all, I wanna talk about a cheek palette that I recently reviewed on this channel and I absolutely love. This is the NARS Trist palette and this is really beautiful. It is the first thing on my recommendations because ever since I got it, I have been using it nonstop. It is so pretty. I love how these blushes are really buildable. They're natural looking. They have gorgeous finishes to them, almost skin-like, so I really love that. And then the highlights as well are really beautiful. They give that kind of wet look a little bit to the skin, so very flattering. They don't emphasize any texture on me anyway, so I have been really enjoying this palette. That highlight there on the left, do you die? <laughs> it's so pretty and like beautiful, wet looking, and then we've got the blush as well. These are really nice and buildable. They are much more on the sheer side. They're not super heavily pigmented, but you can add them and build them super well to get that gorgeous just like natural flush so definitely loving that one I believe this is limited edition for the holiday too, so this is kind of like the chance to get it if you really want it. The next item was in my Sephora swag bag, and I have fallen in love with this ever since I got it. So it hasn't been very long, but it's instantly been one of my favorites. This is from Clean, and this is the Aqua Neroli fragrance. This is stunning. The notes in this one are Neroli, sandalwood, and bergamot, which is awesome. These are kind of fragrances that I grab normally. They are fresh floral. They're perfect for every day as well. It's not overly sweet either. Those can get really um, like powerful on the nose when they're super sweet. This is just really nice and balanced. So I love that. And this one, as per the name, is Clean Ingredients, which I really like. I'm just gonna read what it says here. They're cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, non-toxic, and it comes in eco-conscious packaging. So that is amazing. I am definitely loving this one so far, and I definitely recommend it. Now let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. I do have three to recommend that I am so happy that I have in my collection. The first one is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Stars In Your Eyes palette. This is really beautiful. As you can see, I love this color story. So it has really nice, like peachy pinks. We have a nice golden trio. We have one that's a nice like pinky purple. Then we have some true purples. This palette is really pretty. I do love the color story and I do love how these colors perform on me. I feel like they're very beginner friendly. You don't need to have crazy skill to get a good look. So I love that. And I love how versatile this palette is. I do think you can get quite a few looks out of this. So this is definitely my very first recommendation. This the second palette I want to recommend to you is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Sultry palette. This is one that I feel like so many people deterred from. They thought it was a boring color story, but I actually think this is really nice. I love how this one as well is their classic formula. It is very easy to use. I do love that we have a cooler palette this time. A lot of their palettes are warmer toned and cooler palettes to me just kind of intimidate me a little bit because that's not typically what I wear. I typically gravitate towards a warmer palette, but this one is really, really nice. The shimmers are stunning. The mattes blend really well. So here are some of the other shimmers. Aren't they so pretty? Like, I just love them. They're perfect for every day and you can add that pop really nicely. These blend out so well as well. There is some fallout for sure as per the Anastasia palettes. I feel like I get that with every single one. So definitely do your eyes first, but this is my absolute new fave from them, the Sultry palette. I 100% recommend this one too. The last palette I'm gonna recommend to you guys is the Gold palette from Natasha Denona. This is it right here. So pretty packaging, I love it. I love that she has gone back to 
her old packaging for this one because that is my favorite packaging from her. So this one is lovely. I love how the golds look wet. They look wet even when applied dry. So that is awesome. I never actually thought that I would like this as much as I did. If you guys have been around, you know that I almost swore off this palette and then it haunted me in my dreams until I bought it. <laughs> so I was super happy. I had some great reviews from friends that said it was amazing and worth it. So I definitely do recommend this as well. Upon playing with it myself, the quality is up in the same kind of category as Natasha Denona's Sunset, the original, as well as the Lila palette. Both of those are holy grails. And this is one that I think if you love those two, you definitely should own this one. It is super lovely. I am going to show some of the swatches again on my finger and show you guys some of the golds. It is so, so pretty. So here are just some of the golds. And as you can see, they are so pretty and so unique. Like, I love that. I am very much enjoying this palette, of course. And if you guys love gold, you will love this one as well. The last two palettes that I wanna recommend in this video are both from Hourglass. I did do a video talking about the new Ambient Edit Volume 4 as well as the new Unlocked palette. I did a comparison video. I talked about other Ambient Edit palettes, so definitely check that out if you are at all wondering which one you should purchase but I definitely recommend both of these. So here are both palettes, and as you can see, I actually recommend both of them for different reasons, but check out that video if you're only going to purchase one of them as to which one you think would best be suited for you. I do think the Ambient Edit would much more be suited for like fair, light, medium skin tones, and then the Ambient Unlocked will have more of that medium skin tone reach, I think. I do think that both of these are really stunning. They have the gorgeous hourglass quality when it comes to the powders. Very nice and glowy and natural looking, like that gorgeous healthy skin, which I love. And these are now vegan. So they used to always be cruelty free. They still are, but now they are vegan formulas, which is also an added bonus. So I can't say which one I like more, but I have been using both of them equally. So I can't even say which one I've gravitated towards the most because if I want more of a deeper, richer look, I go for the Ambient Unlocked. And if I want more of a lighter everyday like a lighter flush, then I go for the Ambient Edit. I do think that both of these are well worth the splurge and I absolutely think you should take advantage of the sale with these guys because now you have 20% off if you're Rouge to get either of these and that is amazing. Lastly, I wanna talk about three lip products that I would 100% recommend. The first one is the Stunna Lip Paint in one of her new shades. This is in shade Uncuffed. It is a really, really nice like rosy mauve. I'm just gonna show you guys. It does dry down a little bit darker than what the color is on the outside of the container, so just keep that in mind. But I think this formula is one of the most comfortable liquid lipsticks that I have. This one too, incredibly pigmented, it goes a long way. I do think that the wand takes a little bit getting used to, it's a little bit different, so you can very easily over apply with the wand. So just lightly use this product when you apply it. And you will know because when I picked up her first shade in the red color and I went to town on my lips, I ended up getting it all over the place. It was all over my teeth. I had put way too much on. So absolutely when you're using this, you want to go and open it up and gently remove the excess in the center of the bottle there so that you can apply it nice and lightly because it is really beautiful. This is the shade here. This is all dried. I wanted to apply it and then let it dry so you guys could see it true to life. It is really, really pigmented. One light swipe will get you that color payoff. It is absolutely stunning. And the last product I'm gonna recommend in this video for the VIB sale is the Gloss Bombs. So these are also by Fenty. The first one is in Fenty Glow, and this one is the first shade that she released. And this is what this one looks like here. It is a really nice light peachy pink, lots of gorgeous shine, makes your lips look beautiful. This one again as well, a little bit of a slight tackiness to it, but not over the top. I do really enjoy this formula, really comfortable to wear as well. Then I'm also going to show you the second gloss that she released. This is Diamond Milk. This is what this one looks like.
looks like. And at first, this really surprised me. I was like, nope, this is not gonna be one that I like. It is so full of shimmer, there's no way. But the way they do the shimmer is so fine. It just melts into the lips, makes them look nice and plump and juicy. I love it, honestly. This is what this one looks like next to the first one. So as you can see, it has a little bit more of that nice silvery pigment, but it's still really light. The glitter is so well done, you guys. It just makes your lips look so nice. Like, you can't go wrong with either, but I do think that this Diamond Milk one is my new favorite just because it is one that I've been wearing more than Fenty Glow. So definitely get one of these during the sale. I don't think you will regret it. These are beautiful. Anyways, guys, that is it for my Sephora VIB recommendations for this sale. I will definitely link my other video that I did for the surprise sale. I think it was a month or two ago, so I will link that as well. There are more ideas and recommendations in that video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to let me know by giving it a big thumbs up, as well as don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I would love to see you guys back here, and until my next video, guys, happy shopping. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great, but so many things that lie inside of us.